Greetings. I am Commander Renek of the Romulan Navy. This is the T-10 Bright One class destroyer. A widely used and very effective destroyer in the Romulan Star Empire's Navy in the late 23rd century. This design is from a secret technology research branch of the Tau Shi'ar named Fasa. It is also the result of one of three technology exchanges with the Klingon Empire. Klingon propaganda would have you believe their own Burrell class bird of prey were of their own making. The Burrell class is actually a Romulan design, a fact spoken of only in whispers among the Klingon military. Our Bright One class destroyers are admittedly Spartan compared to our adversaries destroyers. They are ships of great utility, however. These destroyers are used mostly in border and anti-piracy patrol, as well as escort for convoys or larger warbirds. And naturally, they are used for many covert missions or reconnaissance. In the event of a war, they could be deployed alone or in groups as raiders, wreaking havoc on the opponent's interstellar commerce and supply lines and escaping with the cloaking device before the enemy could respond. Like other Romulan and Klingon ships of this era, the Bright One has prominent wing assemblies with variable positions. The upper position is used for landing or docking. The mid position is used for cruising, especially at warp to utilize warp sustainer field generators inside the wings. And a down position for combat, optimizing the disruptor cannon's firing arcs. Each ship has a unique wing pattern that is painted by the crew itself. No two ships are alike in this regard. Since this destroyer's secondary role is reconnaissance, a navigational deflector derived from technology stolen from the Federation allows for more versatility when scouting areas with astronomical hazards. For the occasional exploration or planetary survey mission, there is one multi-purpose lab some variations of this destroyer have landing capability. It controls its descent using booster thrusters. The landing sleds retract as it sets down. One of the most important features of this ship is the cloaking device. Romulan cloaking technology is the best in the known galaxy and constantly improving. This cloak can easily be upgraded every time Starfleet or the Klingons improve their detection abilities. Thanks to propulsion advances, these ships' performance at warp can match that of most of our adversaries. This is one of the first warbirds to use photon torpedoes rather than the heavier and more costly plasma torpedoes. <laughs> It also has a pair of disruptor cannons on each end. The cloaking device is what makes Romulan ships tactically superior to our adversaries in most cases. The art of using this advantage effectively takes patience and cunning. Our commanders approach unsuspecting targets with great care to avoid detection. We identify the best vector from which to make our attack so that we may inflict maximum damage on the target while minimizing our vulnerability to counterattack. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Lost Starships for information about other ships in the universe.